the school did you a favor by kicking you out and making sure that you didn't come back until you were ready. Welcome to the MCAT Podcast. My name is Dr. Ryan Gray, your host here every week, where I have the privilege of taking your questions that you put at premedforms.com and answering them here on the podcast. Now, I take them specifically from the non-traditional pre-med discussion over at premedforms.com. Go sign up for that community if you haven't already. It's free, so go check it out again, premedforms.com. Now, our guest today has a question about starting out poorly and wondering if he should continue down this journey. Our student says, my name is Jordan and I'm 27 years old, a firefighter, paramedic, and starting nursing school in the spring of 2021. In the beginning of my college career at a four-year university in the fall of 2011, I was a full-time student with an undecided major, but attempting to take mechanical engineering courses. Due to relationships, finances, family, and just not being prepared to take on college, I failed almost all of my classes the first semester. I was placed on academic probation and given another chance in the spring. That also did not go well. And again, I failed the majority of the classes as a full-time student. I was then suspended from the college and prohibited from returning for several years. I was kicked out of a four-year university because I could not get the grades. Afterwards, I worked several simple jobs and in 2015 became a firefighter and then an EMT. At that point, I discovered my love for medicine. I then became an advanced EMT, paramedic, and soon will have a bachelor's degree in nursing. I've been taking BMCP prerequisites, BCPM, I'm assuming is that that's what that means, prereqs, at a community college and have had a 4.0 GPA since starting back in school. My cumulative GPA without the failed courses at this time is a 3.3. I'm worried if the amount of failing grades at the beginning of my college career is too large of a red flag for medical schools, regardless of everything else I can accomplish before applying. I'm working on getting my transcript from the university to have a better idea of my actual GPAs. The question is not should I give up on my dream, but more so, how much opposition should I expect to encounter when applying with a history such as mine? Thanks for reading, and I appreciate any feedback. So it's an interesting question, and one that that I wonder why it's even asked. Because the student specifically said, I'm not asking if I should continue on this journey. They're just asking how much how much fight will I have to put in? And my question is, well, what does it matter? You want to go on this journey, so fight whatever fight you have to fight, if I can say fight any more times. The goal of going through this journey is to prove your academic readiness to get into medical school, your academic readiness to get through medical school, and your academic readiness to get through your board exams as a resident, your in-service exams as a resident, and even your board certification exams when you're out of residency. This journey is never, ever over in terms of taking tests. And medical schools want to make sure that you understand that and are prepared academically to get through. Now, obviously, starting out on this journey with a less than stellar, lots of Fs, is hard. And it's going to be hard to overcome. It's going to be hard to increase your cumulative GPAs high enough. The good thing is that it's only two semesters worth. Right, You had one semester, full-time student, failed most of your classes. Another semester, full-time student, failed most of your classes. That's only two semesters. The school did you a favor by kicking you out and making sure that you didn't come back until you were ready. Now, obviously, right now, things don't look good. And what would be I'd be interested in in knowing is how many credits do you have since starting back? You're going to nursing school, and I'm wondering why. Why are you going to nursing school if you want to go to medical school? You should just go and get a bachelor's degree in something else. Don't go down the path of nursing school because a lot of those courses aren't going to be specific enough for applying to medical school. It's a very common mistake that students make. Either one, they're going to nursing school as a backup plan in case they don't get into medical school. Or two, 
they think that the clinical experience they'll gain as a nursing student will help them as a physician. And I understand that point of view, but I disagree with it. I, I, I think, obviously, having that experience, having that clinical experience is important. But it's a lot of extra knowledge and information that you're going to have to forget. Nursing school teaches students how to be a nurse. Imagine going to medical school to want to become a PA. Like, well, I just thought it would help prepare me. Go get your undergrad degree in whatever you want. Don't go to nursing school if you know you want to be a physician. The amount of knowledge that you are going to learn and subsequently need to forget because how physicians think about things is going to be different than how nurses think about things is going to be a lot. Why put yourself through that? Why go learn A and then in medical school have to learn B? It just doesn't make sense. It's a lot of money wasted learning something that you're going to have to forget. Not that you will forget it, but you'll have to forget it. And so for me, pre-med students who go to nursing school knowing they want to go to medical school is silly. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of money. Go get your undergraduate degree in whatever you want. Figure out the fastest way to get through this journey so that you can get into medical school. Now, obviously, you have to balance that with showing a, a nice, strong upward trend and having enough credits and obviously getting in all of your prereqs, all of that stuff. But you don't need to go to nursing school for that. And, and I'm not putting down nursing school, right? We need nurses. There's no doubt about it. But if you want to go to medical school, don't go to nursing school. Leave that seat open for someone who wants to be a nurse. Go study science, uh, chemistry, biology, Spanish, whatever else you want to study. Apparently, just not mechanical engineering courses because you've already shown that you're not super interested in those. So as you're going through this journey, a thousand percent you can overcome it. Now, there's there's someone on social media, someone who used to be on my team here at medical school headquarters who had 16 Fs on her application, and she's a medical student right now. It's possible to overcome. It's really, really, really hard, but especially given your story of starting out school, not being aware of what you wanted to do, and failing and then having this awakening and going, oh, that's what I want to do. I want to be a physician. That tells a story. That also tells the story of your grades because you weren't motivated to do anything before. You didn't know why you were studying in mechanical engineering courses because you didn't really know you wanted to be a mechanical engineer. But now that you know you want to be a physician and you're getting good grades, that fits the story. And again, makes me worry that if you go into nursing school, your grades are going to dip down again because you don't want to be a nurse. You want to be a physician. And so studying those courses may be demotivating for you and may you may shoot yourself in the foot because of that. So go through this journey. I don't recommend starting nursing school. Go study anything else that you want, something that will keep you interested, keep you motivated, and obviously keep your grades up. And then do everything else. Continue working as an EMT, as a firefighter, go get some shadowing experience, any sort of other volunteer or clinical experience, whatever else you want, and then apply to medical school. So don't go to, don't go to nursing school. Apply to medical school. Get your degree in whatever else you want and get through this journey. You can get through it. And yes, some medical schools aren't going to like your grades. Right back to your core question, you're going to run into some resistance, and that's okay. You're going to have a long enough trajectory of good grades, hopefully, proving that what happened your first year in a four-year university wasn't, wasn't a fluke, but it was just because you didn't know what you wanted to do. And that happens to a lot of students. So don't worry about that. Just go down your path, continue down this journey, and you will get in and make it through this whole process and be a better physician because of it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Again, go to premedforums.com, ask your question in the non-traditional pre-med discussion, 
And hopefully, we'll pick your question to be answered here on the Old Premeds podcast. If you haven't checked out Mapped yet, please do. You get a free two week trial at mapped.com, M A P P D.com. We just started the development of our algorithm builder, giving you feedback. And so we're going to be able to create a very specific algorithm to say, if this student is three years out from applying and has these many hours of clinical experience and this GPA and this and this and this, give them this feedback. And we're going to be able to get super nitty gritty with all of the details that will help you on your journey to medical school. Mapped is not just a place to track everything, right? You can do that with a sp- uh, with a spreadsheet. Our goal with MAPT is to also provide you the feedback so that you can navigate your journey without making the same mistakes that we see time and time again. Go check out MAPT, M-A-P-P-D dot com for your free two-week trial. Hope you have a great week. We'll see you next time here on the Old Pre-Meds Podcast.